Guardians, I am Pillar Nexus, and Angel Gladiator with Pillar Plays PC Games Hardcore Challenge. We are going to be playing Hexen with a Mage, mid skill level. I had up a poll for this, and of course, nobody ever checks my community tab on YouTube, so. Oh well. Yeah, the nice thing about the mage is the ability to actually shoot things from the beginning. Yeah, I know exactly what this sets off, but you know what? Screw it. We need the Fletchettes later. So, as with the other hardcore challenge, if, if my character dies, that's the end of the game. Now, this is a longer game than usual, so entirely possible. I may need to break this up into multiple parts. That is the one exception to the uh, not saving rule. Because otherwise. Things become super hard. But in the event that I do reload the game after getting past a certain point, um, if I reload the game and I end up dying after that point, then I will stick to my word and still uh, not continue the game. So why Hardcore Challenge for Hexen? Well, one, I wanted to play more of this game because it's cool. And... Also, I wanted to show off the uh, characters I didn't get to show off uh, last time. I just showed off the warrior, and the warrior is fun. However, the other classes have some special factors to them as well. Right. I think the only extra armor shows up if uh, playing on the easier difficulties. show off one of the things that Yeah, you can just straight up shoot the bell. 
and save the trouble of having to run through the other trap. Because the fact is, you don't really need that key except for the bell. So I might as well just... Save yourself some trouble and... Um, skip it. <laughs> Greetings, mortal. Are you ready to die? I mean, it, this is a hardcore challenge after all. Alright. So what are... So my original plan today was I was going to... Um do another volume of Pillar covers the songs that he freaking wants to sing. Again, without music, because I don't trust YouTube not to screw me over. And I got home from work and I was tired. I, what I ended up doing was laying in bed and watching and listening to a Twitch stream because uh, this wasn't feeling otherwise Okay, neutralize that threat. Pick up more flesh hats. It's nice that the flesh hats have like multiple different uses depending on which class you're playing. Like the warrior throws them like whoop, grenades. The cleric uses them like a make a gas cloud. And then the mage just sets a time bomb. So you see the words blue mana up there. Yes. Oh, fun times. Ha ha ha. Prison hell. If you've played Heretic, you've, you can probably recognize those guys from... From the... Uh, th the final boss of that game. Save my ice magic for the actual challenges I wanted to deal with.
We'll see if I get far enough to actually show off the remaining mage weapons. Now, if I was smart, I would have bound freaking jump to space instead of slash or backslash or whatever. But nope, that's what I get for not really thinking. Oops. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently I have to get to it faster. Great. Come back down. There you go. So this level is seven portals. And this particular section is Guardian of Ice. In each of these sections, you'll have to um, get what you need to solve puzzles across the various levels and ultimately open up the way to the end. Yeah, Hexen 2 does a lot with um, just go to this level, get this one thing, then go to this other level to get the other thing. Here, let's go ahead and just grab all the fletch heads. And armor. There are different different sets of armor pieces to collect. Uh, different pieces of armor are more effective for certain characters than others. Alright, so we are back. Here, which one is what just opened up? Why over here? Well, I'd probably admit it to it before, but because first-person shooters sometimes scare the crap out of me. It's one of those times I haven't really gone through the game legit. I really want to though. This is a nice game. It's an interesting game. It's a hard game. So I think it's important to earn that victory. <laughs> so those portals are opened. Ooh. 
pull it up a little bit sec. I just feel like being paranoid as hell. Because it's just the nature of the game. It's just, hey, let's throw traps everywhere. But you know, it is. Fear. But I'm be real, I have a hard time not being afraid sometimes. I was stepping through the portal and wondering, am I going to be all right? Am I going to be able to handle what's coming through it? What's coming after it? I don't know. In a way, I kind of hate that I've turned into the security cat of some sort. Hmm. They just keep spawning more of these bastards. What the hell? That's why they just show up whenever I'm not looking. Uh, well, at least get some healing. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. I need a minute. <laughs> this is. Because here's the thing, when some stuff like jumps out and like scares like crap out of me, I, I, I'm going to panic, I'm going to swear, and I'm just going to come into my room wondering what the hell's going on. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it for the time being, and we're going to come back to this playthrough. Um as a part two. Alright. Alright, we'll end it here for now and I will see you next time.